Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Heal Tiller Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. This is a general collective energy read for the soul sign of Scorpio. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Scorpio placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the soul joiner family this is the energy vibration for the week of december the 19th through the 25th 2022 i'm sending out blessings and wishes to all those who celebrate the holiday season whatever holiday season you celebrate we have both christmas kwanzaa and hanukkah all starting within the next week So whatever your tradition, whatever your faith, or just with the holiday, the end of the year, just sending blessings and abundance to you. Scorpio energy. What does Scorpio need to know source for their highest vibrational good for December the 19th through the 25th, 2022? And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I trust that this message finds you and saw mine body and spirit and so it is Ooh, we're starting out the week in balance i love it letting our heart and our emotions flow that's what's on your mind on tuesday wednesday energy try to put together a practical plan by Thursday, something is definitely moving forward in your favor. Flanked by two energies of trial here. You're being tested this week, Scorpio. There is an energy of attraction here. Drawing in a counterpart or a mate. Something that's going to make you tremendously happy. And... You're stuck in your head about it. So what's that about, Scorpio? What are you stuck in your head about? Let's go ahead and look and see. You are being tested by the universe. You have two different trials here. It's all about the effort, the time, the energy that you put in. Have you learned from, from past mistakes, past investments, things that didn't work out in your favor? And then you have an energy of being tempted, not allowing things to tempt you, but making the decisions based on what's best for you. There's something here that's very seductive is how I'm getting it. It's very um, tempting and attractive and something that is kind of calling you and pulling you in. It could be whoever this Knight of Cups energy is. It's an energy of Pisces. It's someone who is coming in, love bombing you, showering you with gifts and love this week. But you've kind of already gone through the dance with them in the past. You've learned from some kind of experience and you've also healed from this experience already. What's got you trapped in your head, I'm thinking, is them trying to come back around and perhaps love bomb you again. It's almost like it set off this uh, fight or flight response within you where it's like freeze. You just kind of froze. You're not taking any decisive action. You're kind of stuck in your head. You're going through all of these scenarios over and over again, although it makes you happy and although you can see a future Things just don't seem to always balance out. It usually seems to come with some form of hardship, difficulty, or some kind of conflict. So let's see. You start off the week with the temperance energy, needing to stay balanced, needing to do things in moderation, allowing the universe and everything to just 
be at peace, right? There's an energy of peace and energy of calm in your emotions. You're stable. And then all of a sudden, in comes Mr. Knight of Cups offering you the love of a lifetime. But you've kind of been there and done that before. And you're really thinking it over, going over it in your head. You're also looking back over everything that you've invested in this situation in the past and what you got out of it. This is the universe clearly asking you, have you learned from the past investments? Have you now reevaluated where your time, energy, and intention is going to be best served? This is an energy that's asking you to do the right thing. To put the investments in the places that are actually going to pay you back, which the seven is an energy that talks about self, working on the self, building the self, knowledge of self. It's also an energy that talks about following your destiny and following your path. As you move into the energy of Thursday in the energy of Sagittarius, you also have the world energy. I mean, the wheel energy. This is something that has to do with divine timing. Things are going to be moving forward in the divine plan. All you have to do is do what's best for you. Don't be tempted is how this energy is coming through. With the Seven of Cups energy, it's all about the illusion, right? It's all about someone that's trying to pull wool over your eyes in some way, shape, or form. I'm getting it from this Knight of Cups energy. They're trying to come in, love bombing you seducing you saying all of the positive things that they know you want to hear i'm almost getting the energy of like selling you a wish or dream this is the same wish or dream that you fell for in the past right thinking that something was going to be more than what it was and it never really got quite past go right there was like this love bombing this offer and then nothing else quite grew from it where you may have over invested in a situation and didn't get anything out of it the universe is asking, have you learned from your past mistakes? Now that you know better, will you choose better? Because that is what's going to get this wheel turning in your favor. You come into the energy of Friday and here we go again. This is the energy of love, right? And it's bringing up that energy of something that's trying to tempt you. Something that's trying to come in and pull on your heartstrings. Something that's trying to offer you the world, right? Knowing that they can only provide a little bow, a dozen roses here. Nothing substantial, nothing big. They're not offering you the house, the home, the marriage, the long-term commitment or anything like that. They're only offering you a good time for a meantime and not a long time. So that's something that you have to be discerning about. Is this in alignment with my highest vibrational good? Is this going to fit in with what it is that I desire, my dreams, what it is that I want or not. And you need to make that decision based on what's going to be best for you. So be mindful of this energy and how it is trying to pull you out of your comfort zone or pull you out of your energy of your power. So this is telling me that you're being asked to stand in your personal power. You're being asked to stand in this energy of independence, of certainty, of sh of being um secure within yourself of not settling a lot of times the four of wands for me can talk about settling it talks about settling down four of wands energy twin flame energy but a lot of sometimes to me it just talks about settling settling for less than what it is that you deserve and this is how this energy is coming through be mindful not to settle for less than what it is that you deserve they need to match your energy vibration not coming in as a knight of cups at least coming in as a queen or if not better, a king, because you want someone that you can rely on, depend on, someone that you can be equally yoked with and exchange that energy with so that you can have the victory, the stability and the success that you want, the happiness and the happy ever after. But there's some kind of confusion here. There's something here that you don't trust. And that's the reason why you're being asked to be very cautious this week and whatever this decision is. Be mindful of why you moved away from this energy in the past, why you moved to calmer waters, what was the conflict, what was the issues in the past, and just learn the lesson. This is an energy here the universe is asking you. Have you learned the lesson? This is coming around to tempt you to see if you've grown, because if you have truly grown, then your blessings are definitely coming in the future. What is the Oracle message of advice, spirit? Oracle message of advice for Scorpio in reference to this spread. 
oracle messages of advice for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for their highest vibrational good? For December the 19th through the 25th, 2022. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. Oracle message. <laughs> Escapist. Come home to yourself. It's an energy of 32. The 32 talks about working on yourself, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, putting the time and energy into yourself. Into your own emotional stability. Escapist. Come home to yourself. Everyone wants to escape their lives occasionally. Some of us like to binge watch shows. Some of us like to listen to music. Some of us like to read. And some of us like to leave it all behind and go on vacation. All of that is totally healthy. Our lives can get incredibly stressful. However, too much escapism can mean that you're not confronting a big problem, which isn't healthy for you. Face it head on and let the pieces fall wherever they may. That has been your energy for the week, beautiful Scorpio. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am truly honored and I am grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this video with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, Soul Joiners, I am wishing you love, Peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste.